Aloha, everyone. How's it? We're here to check out the changes in the sand over the last year since the eruption ended here at Pohuiki Beach. We're here at Poiki today. We're uh, looking at the sand deposits that have been coming in since the end of the 2018 eruption. Yeah, the beach has really grown quite a bit, both in width and in length, and we'd like, like to look at the details of that for you guys. Right, so we're currently standing in between second and third bay. If you look behind me over here, you can see the waves breaking at third bay. But yeah, this entire area has been inundated with sand and has just continued to progress following the end of the eruption. And we didn't really see it during the eruption as much as afterwards. Right, so even though there was some sand produced during the eruption, most of that doesn't, doesn't really accumulate. It's more the breakdown of the current new coastline that all that lava exposed between Pohuiki all the way to Kapoho, the waves battering that, creating new sediment and all that washing down towards the area we're standing right now. Right, so what we did is we uh, mapped out the sand progression over time using aerial footage. What we did is we looked at the low water line where the sand, we were able to see the sand being in the water, the, the deepest we were able to, uh, the furthest out we were able to take it. And we just progressed that from the end of the eruption to today. And what we see is just this steady progression. Right, so you see, you can map from the aerial photographs where that low water line is, where the sand is exposed. And from that area, you can kind of see how it progresses outwards farther and farther from the old shore, from the vegetation all those rocks gathering to kind of make this big, big built up area. Here in the inland part of the beach, you can see several different ridges that are kind of forming the whole, the whole structure of the beach. You can really see this better from the air. But in the early part of the eruption, uh, early part of the building of sand after the eruption was over, there were two big storms that both, both pushed big surges of sand up onto the beach. And you can see the far ridge was the first storm. And once that piled up against the shore, the next storm put big waves and another, another ridge of sand closer to us between here and that back one. And then finally as the beach has grown now we're having equilibrium kind of even behind farther out towards the ocean as well. So three different ridges that make up the kind of structure, different layers of sand kind of dipping towards the ocean stacked up as the storms have brought the late layers in one wave at a time.
We're here at the Bowie Bow Ramp at the Breakwater, right? This was the old lighthouse right here. The light, the break wall itself came out a little bit further, not much, but you can see this is all under sand right now. But there is concrete down here, right? And you can see the old boat ramp out in here, completely filled in and inundated with this wall of sand, which is, you know, a few hundred feet thick in this area. And it started out following the, the eruption, which you can see right over here, sand started to gradually move in. And it started to disperse, just lying the outside of the breakwater, and then about two weeks in mid-August mid 2018, it had wrapped around, come in, and then taken uh, blocked access to the ramp. From there, sand continuously crept along the shoreline, but making more of these types of uh, pools of salt water that rise and fall with the tides. at first bay kind of takes the boat ramp at the very end of the eruption then starts working into the rest of the first bay getting into first bay reef then it gets into chambers second bay works its way down and then we start seeing it pile into second bay it's piled in so much in the second bay that it's past where you would used to take off if you were surfing unless it was crazy big it's, it's so far out there that it's gotten rid of most of the shallows that once was the surf breaks. On this one spot you can see the sand clearly, fine grain sand, a little bit of the berm on the right, and then it quickly transitions to rock beach. All that rock is piled higher than the level of the sand. You can really see how it's got like a whale back shape above it being dumped on top of the sand by bigger waves afterwards. So you can see there's, there's a real difference in the look of it. The sand is not all the way out to touching the water anymore in most of the northern part of the beach. Alright, so you can see behind us just how high the berm has gotten. And you can see the lifeguard stand placed up on top of it. That was once, you know, that didn't exist in the end of the eruption but then they had to move it in once the sand started to move in. And then they had to move it forward as a few months later as the sand continued to inundate the area. It basically became landlocked itself to right. be uh, useless because of this massive hill right here that started to block it. Yeah, I think even in the drone footage, you can kind of see how the lifeguard station moves over time to get farther and farther out from the old shore have seen is that the distribution of areas that are more rocky, that are more sandy, that seems to move and change over time with the storms and the big waves that bring those big rocks into, into the area. Right. You know, looking at the sand, you know, month to month, week to week, and even day to day, is you see changes based upon the surf conditions, that the swell that's coming in, the direction of the swell, the size of it, you know, scrape it out or make it steeper, but all of these changes are pretty they're, they're small scale compared to the trends that we're looking at overall in this one, one and a half year analysis. Right, you're looking at the whole bulk of everything together, all the sands and the rocks all kind of all mixed together as opposed to rocks moving from here to here and sand from here to here and how it might actually visually look different from time to time. The actual right. whole bulk volume of it covering the area hasn't, is what you're actually looking at and that, that's what really matters. Totally. And we just see more sand moving in. In some areas though, it's slowed over time. Like the amount of month to month progression on sand is minimal, whereas other areas, it's a completely different story. Right. One of the areas that is minimal is near the boat ramp itself. We haven't seen much in the way of growth over time compared to some other areas in the past six months with have seen a tremendous amount of sediment move into the, right. the coastline. Right, it seems like we're looking from about a year ago till now, the beach has essentially doubled in its length. It's gotten a little bit further off as well, thicker going right. out. Thicker and longer.